So one thing to know is, of course, the watch brand you're buying from. You understand its tradition and how it meets innovation, the excellence shown in their timepieces. The other thing as well is how are brands or the official faces that represents them, aka the authorized dealers, creating and maintaining meaningful relationships with the watch enthusiasts, with the newcomer, with their existing customers. What is the sandwich between purchasing a watch and another watch? Is that just another watch? Or is there something more to it? Some brands, your first watch experience is just similar to your hundredth with them. There's no changes. It's just a commercial transaction. Pay, thank you so much, goodbye, leave. All strictly transactional. And some would go above, like Vacheron. You're not just greeted as a customer, but almost as a connoisseur of watchmaking. Like you made the watch with them. That's how you'd really feel interacting with any staff member, any, any person from Vacheron, regardless of their sales, marketing, a watchmaker. You're always going to feel like it's a very intimate discussion. And that is reality. I don't know if that's part of their training, but it's working and it's working really well. So we're back with Elodie again. Hello, everyone. Uh, we need a professional introduction, please. My so. name is Elodie. I'm the head of marketing for Vacheron Constantin for the Middle East region, India, Africa, and Turkey. The atmosphere, the warmth, and the experience is something that Vacheron had truly spent time and efforts on. The brand is almost positioned as a way of life. You're part of this club now, right? You're part of this family. And you actually meet really cool, fun people. Like this guy was telling me about his condivage in stainless steel that he had been engaged in Vacheron events and gatherings for the past four years before he actually bought his coin de vage, which is a fantastic watch, by the way. Very, very awesome watch, especially in stainless steel that he bought post four years of engagement at Vacheron events. He never bought anything. That was his first watch. He's just been invited over and over and over again to attend these events. And he had fun and he met a lot of people and he had the time and room to interact, not just with sellers, but people in the community about his taste. And what does this watch mean till he narrowed down what's for him. And these type of fringe activities are not just significant for the brand, but they're also crucial for us watch enthusiasts, watch lovers. So it's not about how much you spend that dictates whether you're going to be invited to the next event with Vacheron or not. That's not the continuity they're addressing. It's, it's really more of meeting you and kind of getting you closer, not only to the brand, but other watch collectors, other watch lovers, newcomers as well that know nothing about watches. And I think that's very, very interesting. That's what makes the hobby fun. Because if the case is that you're just going to rock up, buy a watch and leave, eventually you're going to get tired of that. Eventually you're going to get bored of that. I mean, think about it. You begin with a desire for buying every single watch. You love them all. You want them all. But then over time, you start refining your taste. And then your taste dictates changes until you start finding contentment with just one piece. You love the brand and you support them. You love their watches. You've gone out of your way on that last purchase, out of your means even, right? So you're good, you're good for a while, you don't wanna buy any watches. What does that really mean for that relationship between you and the brand? Is that the end of it? Does it stop there? What does that really mean for continuity between you and the brand that you love the most? What happens then? You disconnect from a brand that you absolutely love just because you're no longer buying watches from them because you're good? Or could there be some sort of continuity outside of you just fronting that hard earned dollar? Could these events, these gatherings, these intimate gatherings basically be a way for you to still continue expressing your appreciation to the brand and their efforts and everything they do and reciprocally for them to know that you're still a passionate watch collector, watch enthusiast that follows their brand? The burgundy trim is uh, the integration of a Vacheron Constantin color and uh, this design to wow. blend basically perfectly together. This is why customer relationship and constant engagement becomes really, really important. And that's where Vacheron truly shines. So on one hand, Vacheron said, we're proud to have elevated watch craftsmanship to a new height. We are happy that you value our work and we value also the fact that you have purchased from us in the past. You have a Vacheron constant and you're part of this family. Our timepieces and masterpieces, meticulously crafted by skilled artisans, but the voice today is purely the passion and sharing it. It's not about how much you will spend today, if you even intend to spend anything. Save it for later. I and mean, even if you didn't, as a token of appreciation and teaching you about the brand and kind of getting you around like-minded people, come to this fine cigar workshop with us. The guys from Revolutionary Cigar had collaborated with Vacheron and took us to this masterclass. And it was awesome. Teaching us really finer things about cigars and how to prepare them and how to put them together and 
it was just an awesome experience. I've never done anything like that in my life before, but I truly enjoyed it. It's something I will remember. So basically, uh, there's three steps. So we start with the filler, and there's Cuban leaves, and we go into the binder, which binds it together, and then we end up with a wrapper, and it should end up like this, creating these cigars. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm not a cigar smoker. I've never been to a workshop before, but I did enjoy it, and I did find it unique and interesting, and I met a lot of interesting people there. Newcomers as well, they don't feel intimidated, right? It's not like, come in, what do you want? Well, you know, how dare you not know what you want? It's more like, let's kind of connect outside of the watch world, get to know you as a person, get to maybe share some learning and vice versa, learn a little bit about your taste, and then maybe at some point we'll have something for you. In an event that is completely outside of watches, has nothing to do with watches, there was nothing being showcased, watches no one was pushing any watches for you to buy literally just your presence and your conversation with other watch lovers that's it i can't really think about another brand that had gone on and above like vacheron putting time effort all of these things together just to kind of glue the community closer and to the existing experienced collector who's a customer of their brand myself included we just felt welcomed again. I think the world of luxury watches is synonymous with exclusivity. And I think Vacheron Constantin, through its commitment to inclusivity and authenticity, had taken this to a whole nother level. They basically said whether you're a seasoned collector, someone that had purchased from us in the past, or new to the world of watches altogether, you're welcome. This is what the watch industry stands for. This is what it means. This is the level of craftsmanship and effort we put into our watches. And this is a platform to tell you about it. And you don't even have to purchase. I think this should have been a sponsored video. <laughs> it's not. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>